Hello and welcome back to Tales from the Borderlands. Okay, I've got to say, re-watching uh, that first part just to make sure that everything had recorded cleanly. I've now realised how much I hate my own laugh. So there's that. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Excuse me, good sir. <clears throat> Hi. Excuse me, uh, sir, do you know where the... Uh World of Curiosities is. Let's face uh, it, manners cost nothing. It should be around here. You lost. Um. What are you here for? Oh, that guy's voice sounds incredibly familiar. Ah, just a simple, simple business, business deal. deal. A few papers to sign, and then we're out. Easy. Huh? Those the papers of a sort. You now just suckers stole some of their stuff. That. Atlas were bastards, but at least they had the good sense to fail. When Jack came in, he turned everything to smoke. Listen, all we want are directions to the world of curiosities. That's it, okay? We get that, and we're gone. Gone, huh? Yeah. Hey, little man. Oh, boy. What's in the case? <laughs> Hey, kitty cat. Show That's us the problem the with uh, attaching briefcases to your arm with handcuffs. There's an easy way to get them off. It's called cut your hand off. Okay, now, look. Before we get all bent... Uh, oh. Is there, like, a convention or something? Oh. Jeez it. <laughs> Bandits. You know what we got here? Reese, do they We got a couple Hyperion warmongers, gentlemen. The bot! Yvette, prime it! Okay, so... Already? Really? Yes. <laughs> okay, give me the menu. So, how do we want to okay, spec our loader bolt? These things ain't cheap. Riot they shield, can... machine gun. And do you know what we do with warmongers? Yeah, you know let's go with do? a riot shield. Should we tell them what we do with Hyperion workers? And... A rocket launcher, on, or grenades? It. Let's go with longbow grenades, I think. I'll be honest, part of the reason is... Sorry, I'm getting a load of messages now. Yes, part of the reason is... I picked the exact opposite of this loadout last time, so I'm curious to see the difference. Time you know, clock last time I went with machine gun and uh, rocket launchers. Listen, boys. You're gonna hand over that case. Are you handing over your heads? Your choice. Look, guys, let's talk about this. And... There she blows. Ooh. Got quiet all of a sudden. Good job the right bolt up for a hand, because that thing would be toasted about half a second. Um, load a bot. Kill them. <laughs> Why isn't it doing anything? Angry eyes detected. Ah, oh boy. It only does what I tell it to! Oh, tell it to do something already! Please stop shooting me. Engaging target. Okay, load of bot. Piece of cake. Kill them. War does not compute. What is it good for? And ever since Jack died, the loader bots have been getting smarter and smarter. I like to think we all have. <laughs> War. Ha. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again. Come on. Okay, loader bot. Grenades. Yep. Ooh. Take cover, boy. Did that grenade just teleport inside him? Oh. At least put the door back on it. 
Oh boy. Rocket, rocket, rocket! I know! Photobot, boy. Yeah, this went long range weapon would be useful. Yep, grenade, that'll do. Spin it, throw it. Bye guys. Well, now I know why these cost so much. Thank you kindly. Wait, 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 wait. Nope, he's still hanged up to that. Go get the car! Stop, thieves! Oh boy. Well, at least that shield's good for something. <laughs> wow, those guys are appalling shots. I mean, really, that is impressively bad shots. Oh boy. Yeah, he is, because I forgot how you reacted. to that. You sure you want to stick with that story? Okay, okay, maybe I didn't, you know, technically die, but I could have. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's do that right this time. Because you can tell that movement's designed to be done with an analog stick, not a keyboard, but oh well. There we go. Okay. Dude, you have a metal arm. Why would you punch him with you know, your real arm? Wicked. <laughs> Interesting. Well, that guy's dead. <laughs> Actually, on Pandora, people survive ridiculous things all the time. Works. Oh boy. Uh, ladder up. Okay, big guy. Come oh on. Ooh, that's going to sting in the morning. Easy, buddy. Come on. Come on, where are you? Kill him and grill him. What did you do before? What the hell should I know? Your freaking bot tossed us both out. Well, you did tell him to get the car, not to uh, get bored. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's all I wanted to know. We could have avoided all of this. Ow! Get your ass gone! Okay, okay, okay. Loader bot, put the car down. We all know how this is going to end. Smash. There we go. <laughs> hey, Vaughn. Still got the case of money? Please do something! Nothing in the subsystem requires your attention. Alright, we'll have to improvise. Time to get funky. Okay. Optimize. Primary weapon. Secondary weapon. Disagreed modification violates your user group. Fair enough, let's jailbreak him. Customize the weapon system. Ooh, weapon system efficiency now 110%. Let's do this. Putting grenades on his shield. Oh boy. Oh, that works. <laughs> 
anymore. <laughs> Fatality. Oh, God. Oh, back. Are you run away? Uh, well we could! <laughs> that works. <laughs> Thank you, Loaderbot. Uh, thanks, Loaderbot. This is totally uncool. Why must the universe punish the good? <laughs> He's right, the Loaderbots are definitely getting smarter. Loaderbot! Please. The spirit is weak. Come on, Reese, just tell it to run. Ow. Okay, Loaderbot, get out of here. Loaderbot will store that in memory. I suppose the usual such and such will remember that. Nice. <sighs> it's a very odd game. I will name this. my firstborn Loaderbot. Why on God's green earth would you do that? Well, you know, pr probably not. <laughs> I... I can't believe we're alive. I mean, I, I never want to see somebody's brains come out of their nose. Not ever again. That... that was the single scariest experience of, of my entire life. Which should probably be over by now. But it's not. For some reason. Uh, it's it's, it's Pandora. I, I'm just gonna let him rant himself guys, out. It is, man. Well, I guess that's just a little more nightmare fuel to keep me going. All right, let's just find this guy, August. Buy the key. Well, this place is a bit creepy. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Okay, there's a brain in a jar, and a human skeleton in a box, and a bully mong. Okay. And a dead guy in a chair. All right, you know, the stuffed animals was one thing, but this is taking a turn I really don't want it to. Right this way to the world famous hall of Pandoran luminaries. Come face to face with icons of the planet's turbulent history and hear how each met their grisly fate. Please watch your step and marvel at some of the unexpected ends of life's grand design. Well, that's not nowhere else terrifying at all. Come on, let's just get through it. Uh... Seriously, who puts a dead guy in a chair? Not to be confused with his brother, Boom, was the first mate of Captain Flint. Yep. As his name subtly implies, Boom enjoyed hurling caustic explosives and making things blow up by any means necessary. Yep, sums up Boom and Boom. Doesn't. Incendiary grenade deactivated, thankfully. Though that is not confirmed. Okay, let's uh, let's keep on moving. Pandoran resident and fine dining connoisseur, Shade, was held in high esteem by his fellow neighbors. That's overstating it a lot. Not in the least bit insane. He will be missed. I'm no. really not into this at all. <laughs> Let's face it, you stuffed all the members of the town after they died of dehydration. You're a bit crazy. Oh, no nowhere near as nuts as Nakayama. A scientific researcher who worked for Hyperion, Professor Nakayama, was obsessed with cloning Handsome Jack, who he carried a certain fondness for. Killed by stairs. Now. No witty rejoinder. You must be more killed by than stairs. I am. Hey, you still got his Hyperion. Oh yeah, he was, wasn't he? Forgot about that. Keep it. Hyperion pays out a nice bonus for recovering those things. Oops. So we've got an ID chip now. Yes, he was actually killed by stairs, wasn't he? After uh, the Vault Hunters dealt with his monstrous creature, he attempted to attack them and then... dead. The once ruthless leader of the Crimson Lance, Commandant Steel. Her leaderness 
came to an end when she was skewered by a monstrous tentacle. Oh yeah, I remember that. She later died a second time after having been resurrected as some kind of cyborg zombie thing. Can we just get on? Don't with remember this? that, but then I haven't actually played the DLC for the original Borderlands. I have for uh, Borderlands 2 and uh, for the pre. Actually, no, I haven't played the pre-sequel DLC because there isn't much of it yet. It's, mon it's mostly um, additional characters. Oh, it's locked. Oh, come on, are you serious? Well, this feels like we came in the back, so maybe there's a front door somewhere? Yeah, I don't know if we can get out there with the murderers all over the place. Maybe yeah. one of those bodies has a key or something and we just missed it. Well, I mean, if we just randomly found the key, I mean, that would be amazing. <laughs> ah, you've got a lot of meta humor. Wait a second. Didn't there used to be another guy there? <laughs> Hello, Shade. Are you? Not nice great. to see you're still are as you crazy as ever. Not just the handsomest devils I've seen in ages. <laughs> what? What? Who are you? What? 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 What is this? Is this part of the like some kind of ride or something? Since the moment we walked in, it's just been one big freaky puppet show, so Thanks. I... Thanks! <laughs> I'm Shade, and this is my world of curiosity. Nice to see you finally moved out of Oasis. Let me tell you right off the very bat, I am deeply sorry that you strapping young threshers of gentlemen here have to witness it in such sad disrepair. Time can take a toll, you know, and on more things than one. <laughs> <clears throat> but unfortunately, we are closed for renovations. Uh, but that okay. doesn't mean you have to leave, of course. No. We're looking for a man named August. We're supposed to meet him here. You know anything about that? Oh, sure, sure. Why didn't you say so, huh? <laughs> You're late, actually. Yeah, we know. We got a little bit yeah, held up. If you want to buy something strange and illegal, <laughs> this is certainly the place to do it. Well, there's a ringing endorsement. My grandpappy. He's the one who came up with this place. He was a real thinker, you know, a real lover of animals. <laughs> Still is, actually, because he's definitely not dead. But the place itself. What happened? You get stuck in traffic? Yeah, sort of. You Hyperion guys, you're usually so punctual. Getting 10 million together can't be too much trouble for you guys. Yeah, <laughs> well, sorry we're late. Getting here was a little more complicated than we thought it'd be. Yeah, well, that's Pandora for you. It ain't a friggin' bug stampede. Some jerk-off is using you for rocket practice. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> I'll just leave you to your business things then. I'm August, but I figure you know that already. Yep. Nose rings. Not a fashion accessory I get, personally, but uh, to each their own. Is, uh... Is Vasquez coming? <sighs> no. Hugo couldn't make it. He's sick. Yeah, he ate some bad stuff or something. I don't know. <laughs> He's been camped out in the executive washroom since lunchtime. You got trains leaving both ends of the station, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, okay, I got the picture. Well done. <laughs> so, what's your name? Just so we're on uh, equal footing. It's Reese. Reese? Reese. Isn't that what I said? Sure. Just sit down and let's do this so we can move on with our lives. <laughs> okay, so, let's see the money. Let's see the vault key. Cash only for this deal. And I hope ah, you big bills. Show him the money, Vaughn. No problem. Oh, okay, uh, sorry. Uh, it's all the passwords on this thing. What's the problem? It's not a problem. It's a security thing. Just give him a second. Maybe this will give you some incentive to hurry it up. Hey, vault key. Shiny. You ever see anything so pretty in your miserable lives? This thing will practically dance at your wedding. State-of-the-art alien crap. I'd use it myself, but, you know, the monsters and all. It's goddamn gorgeous. 
freaking A right it is. Okay, so, the way I uh, usually do these things is... Wait! What? I... Oh, I just don't like it. I got a... I got a feeling. What feeling? Look, you said when I started to get a feeling about something that I should tell you and that we should walk away, right? Oh dear. What are you possibly feeling right now? Everybody We're almost relax. Done. We're good here. Everyone relax. We just want to buy the key from August and go. Yeah, he just wants to buy a key from me. Sasha, what the hell are you? I just, I just don't like it. They've had this dumb attitude on their dumb faces since the moment they walked in. What are you talking about? They've been all, oh, yes, sir, and oh, no, sir, and oh, I have the money we agreed upon right here. Which implies... Nothing you're saying is bad. Yeah, I was gonna Nobody say. does that. And especially Hyperion ore monkeys who'd rather bomb a small village than talk things through. Yeah, Hyperion I mean, do have a habit of doing that. at that guy. Look at his face. What's wrong with his face? Hey, Sasha? Sasha, listen to me. I, I know you don't trust Hyperion. Yeah, you think? And I know you have zero reason to trust us, but I'm telling you, you're not like those assholes. In, in fact, we're trying to get back at one of the worst assholes up there, and we need that key to do it. So please, take the money, and let us screw over one of the biggest jerks on Hyperion. Please. So you're saying this key will get used to screw over some wretched Hyperion stooge? Yes! That's exactly what we're saying. Alright, I'm sold. Awesome, let's well, do Well, that was this. easy. Well, just wait, just wait. Uh, August, everything's fine now. I mean, I don't know. If you really think... No, no, it's okay. The thing is <laughs> gone, August. Let's do the deal. I don't know. Maybe today's not right for this. Oh, for God's sake. If, if, if things are weird... August, Bobby, come on. Bobby? Now, a deal's a deal. Seriously? All the way down here. Why would you Just, say I'm, that? I'm sorry, guys. I was... I thought I was going to deal with Vasquez, and now this, I just... I just think we should call it off until I, I think things are square. Maybe another time, fellas. Hun, we're here. We should just do this. Really? No, nah, I made up my mind. August, oh, wait. wonderful. Freeze! This is your department. Do something. <laughs> oh dear. Things are getting serious. Blow his mind or break. Let's break his heart. Honest. Can't let you leave with that, pal. Oh no. And what are you going to do about it? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Looks like he had a change of heart. <laughs> okay, if he'd done that with his metal arm, I could see it being possible. What a <laughs> steaming load of skag crap. Here, here. <laughs> well, well. Look who decided to show her face. I was just about to get to my favorite part. You know, where you come in and you ruin my life, you no-class scheming Pandoran scum! A oh, nice haircut, you lying Hyperion jackass. It is a nice haircut! Oh, shut up! Stop it, stop it! You're getting dirt in my eye! It sucks, because I'm trying to get it in your lying mouth! <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> and I'm not lying, okay? I'm embellishing. I'm sorry, I think saying you punched you know, his heart you out is slightly more than I embellishing. Was, you dope. I can't believe you still haven't figured that out. I knew you were dense the moment I. Your turn, Fiona. My turn for what? Tell me your side of the deal. You couldn't have asked me first. You kidnapped me hours ago. I guess I could have. <laughs> you guess? I've been baking in the sun with Rax dive bombing me for the last. Okay, okay, telling the story. I get it. This fraud conveniently left out the most important part of this whole thing. Which is. No, oh, this ought to be good. No, oh, go on. I can't wait. Well, the vault just showed up. The Vault Hunter showed up. 
It's mine! Just give it! Stop! What's your freaking problem, man? Oh boy. Yeah. Hello, Zero. Like I said, there's only one vault zone until we know who really likes his swords. Wait, 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 wait. How is that the most important thing? Did you forget the part about it all being your fault? Oh, come on, that was not my fault. Not all of it. Just most of it, then. Are you making a face under there? I can't tell what you're thinking if... Okay, telling the okay, story. Okay, fine. But let me start at the beginning. Because <laughs> incidentally, you know, three episodes in, I have no idea I who's under that here, mask. On Pandora, which I suspect means it's somebody we know. Hollow Point. It's in a cave. Anyway, for a long time it was just me and my sister. Just a couple of kids stealing what we could to survive. Until we met Felix. We tried to nab his wallet. Not only did he stop us, he showed us how to do it better. We've been working together ever since. This is taking too long. She's waiting. This latest scam was our biggest yet. The one that would set us up for life. Ah, the fabled... Yep. What can I say? A lot of these stories start out the same way. Fiona, relax. There's nothing to be nervous about. But there's plenty to be nervous about. You know, if you're a professional con artist and you're not at least a little nervous, you're probably a fool. There. That looks good. If August's offense worth his cut, he'll be selling it to some Hyperion stooge. It should be good enough to fool one of them. Not too many people have seen a Vault King, real or otherwise. Don't. The paint may still be wet. Be sure not to let anyone touch it. There the paint's are only still a wet. Spots to worry about, but it's best not to risk it. So have them keep their hands to themselves. Keep them from touching it? How do you expect me to do that? I don't know. Tell them it's radioactive or something. But you'll think of something. You always do. Hey, you're a pro. This is what you do. Your sister may have brought in the mark, but you're the one that'll close the deal by playing whatever role you need to. To get the job done. If she introduces you as a tiny psycho, you'll squat down and scream about poop trains. Okay? <laughs> that first introduction is who you are. You two have to work together. I have the shiniest meat bicycle. Exactly. <laughs> Showtime. Fiona. Psychos do love their meat role, bicycles. You play it as best you can. The deal came together much faster than I'm comfortable with, but it's worth the risk. So it's best to take precautions against the unforeseen. The purple skag is not the type of place you walk into without a backup plan. What's that for? It's only for emergencies. One bullet. That's right. You'll always be able to talk your way out of more situations than you can shoot your way out of. I suppose the Vault Hunters who just shoot their way out of everything. Wet paint. <laughs> gotcha. No touch. Emergency only. I <laughs> got it. Consider me well warned. Ten bucks in the bank account. Wunderbar. Okay, can't go that way, so we're going this way. Ah, charming place. Right, that to me seems like a pretty good point to end this part, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next.